Hey, so I just wanted to go over uh, making any type of report in in Salesforce, and then we can make a pie chart out of it or a graph. Um, they're they're really simple to make. They've made some improvements in the in the reporting to make it even easier than it was before, and it's completely simple now. So let's go to reports. Let's create a new custom report, and uh, let's do a report just on our activities to see how many people we've called. So we'll do an activity, activities with leads, and then we'll create it. So now we can see all the different types of activities, the, the actual subject inside of here. We got a grand total of 50 leads in here. Um, we probably want to add some, a uh, couple other things. So let's, uh, add some more information. We can add a lead owner. So now we can see all the different lead owners of the people that we, we've called or whatever. I kind of think we should move this over here and it's as simple as that and we'll put the first name of the lead, second name of the or last name of the lead, and then the subject of the actual uh, call and now we can from here we can base this report on several different things we can see if it's an email we can see what whatever we want uh, so let's uh, actually just go down into activities and we can put a status on it we can put a location uh, ID created by comments I kind of think we should just go with status here and then we can see everything else and then we can take this and we can actually sort it based on this. We'll group by the status field. So now we can see waiting on someone else and these ones have nothing in that field. So right now we'll uh, add a chart and we'll put it in a pipeline type chart. We'll say OK. And since we only have two different things here, that's all it's going to show. There's, there's definitely more inside of the status, but right now that's all everybody's been using inside of the inside of Scrubs. So we'll run the report. And here we go. We have a total of 136 records now that we're inside the full full lead. We can actually see some are in progress. And you can see that as this green field here. And these are all the ones that are not started yet. And let's actually make this to a, we'll make it a small chart. So it doesn't take up so much space. But now we can actually see everything that's going on. And then if we wanted to filter it by date, we could just do 7.5 to 7.12 and we can run the report again and we can see now we have 23 records inside of there and we can change the state around um, we can take the state off and we could even go you know back into the lead created date last activity we can do any number of things we can change my scenes we could do all activities we can run the report again we should have some more fields here and we do again so basically we can do anything inside these reports so now we'll just take this report and we'll save it and we'll just put this into some on file public reports and we'll save it so now we can go into these on filed public reports and we have lead activity status and we can bring up that report again and once again we have the ability to change the date we can customize the report we can change it based on anything that's that's how easy it is to make a report in Salesforce uh, we can export it and we can export it into Excel if we need that and CSV if you want that too we can make a printable view we can add it to a campaign. 
We can do any number of things with this report. So that's basically how you make reports in Salesforce.